is looking unlikely, though, that we will reach those targets, Paul, and transport and agriculture, the worst performing sectors? Certainly on the basis of this EPA report, it looks unlikely at this stage. And what they're calling for is urgent implementation of everything that has been signed up to, plus new measures in order to hit that emissions target by 2030, which is to reduce carbon emissions by 51% by the year 2030. And it singles out agriculture, though it does make reference to all sectors of society and the economy as having to play their part, but it's agriculture in particular that it goes after. It says even if everything in the current climate plan is implemented, they reckon that emissions target will only be reduced by 28% as compared to 51%. And they say there's more clarity required from the agriculture sector in terms of how and when they reduce methane. And it believes that the agricultural sector needs to be transformed. Now, the IFA has put out a statement in the past 10 minutes responding to this, and it says that farmers are addressing the challenges of reducing emissions. It says they are changing their management practices. It refers to new technologies and new feed additives as things that will come into play over the coming years, which will help them hit their targets. And it makes the point that given what we've heard about in terms of food shortages and food prices. More than ever, it says the world needs Irish food. So a big battle ahead over the coming years between farmers, the EPA and government about how we all get there. All right, Paul, thank you very much for that.